last up to tell you their story is Greg. This was um, from 1987 in San Francisco. I was four years old. Some, I know I'm young. So some backdrop, not as young as I was. Um, some backdrop, my mom's an interior architect, so I just that's some fun context to the story. I think it's pretty safe to say that my San Francisco preschool was pretty mm, laid back. I finally remember Jane, the gray slick look-alike head of the school, she took us on field trips where we would all pile into her Ford station wagon and drive while singing folk tunes. It was like a Benetton ad on wheels. <laughs> the other item of note in this flashback is that the car always had a unique skunky smell. <laughs> which at three years old I couldn't quite pinpoint. <laughs> that car is one of four main things I remember about that school. It also had a great garden which I meticulously tended to and it's where I discovered the joy of cup and noodles. And in the front of the school, there was a dress-up corner, which I often frequented. The photo I posted to the blog is of me in my dress-up, taken by my mom in that corner. And I'm wearing a straw hat, dark sunglasses, and a gingham plaid skirt over my shoulders. <laughs> all in all, I think if nothing else, it shows how fashion-forward I am, and was, even at such a young age. I don't think there was ever a time when I didn't know I was gay. I did have a crush on a girl in first grade, but it was first grade, so it doesn't really count. I also loved watching WWF on Sunday mornings, mostly just to see the wrestlers. I didn't come out to my parents until I was 15, and surprisingly they didn't take it so hot at first. But now, 16 years later, everything is dandy and my mom dug up my gem of a photo a few years back. I think it's absolutely hilarious and a clear testimony to the importance of a quality pre-kindergarten education. <laughs> and there's no telling how else I would have learned that my hair looks good in a wide-brimmed straw hat without Jane's guidance. <laughs>